Hello everyone, this is Jen Pruitt, Dreams, Etc. And this is the latest book that I finished. It's the Charles Dickens A Christmas Carol. Um, it's the Star album, and uh, my mom and I actually designed it to our own. Um, we did some modifications to it, so we kind of call it our own little design here. And then I digitally created all of the illustrations, so they're all original. And here is the album once it's um, tied together. And there is how it would sit. Um, they had it displayed on your coffee table or wherever you might want to display it. And so I'll just go through really quick um, each page of the album. I do have kits available. Uh, they're $39.95 and everything that you'll see in the video that I show you, you'll receive in your kit. Um, so I will just start here with the front cover. And on the front cover, I actually used two um, sheets of the same image. Um, I used one to back with chipboard and then to give a 3D effect I cut out this section here and I applied diamond glaze over it to um, have it so it was really sturdy and create a nice glossy finish to the cover. And then I just added some little flowers um, and flower pin, uh, some crystals to embellish it with. And then on the side here I found uh, through, I can't remember um, the brand, but I think it's Art Chic or something like that, and reminded me of the Lion doorknob. Um, and so I attached that to the side of the book. And then just used uh, fibers here to actually stitch it with, and you'll receive the instructions with your kit on how to make this album. So inside here is the first section, and um, when we designed this album, we created these flaps, and on the flaps contains the actual Christmas story of the Christmas Carol. The Christmas Carol story. <laughs> so it's kind of neat because it's not only an album where you can place your photos, but you can actually you can actually read a story. So there's the first page. Here's the second of Ghost of Christmas Past. And again, all these illustrations um, I did. Um, they're my own digital artwork creations here. And you can also download, um, if you just are looking for uh, the 12 by 12 sheets to do a different project with these papers, those will also be available. And there's the Christmas carolers. And this one um, I actually took from an original illustration and modified it. And all the flaps um, in your kit you'll receive the trim. You'll receive the little tabs which are embossed and then um, you have a little thing of stickles that you can put over just to add that little bit of uh, glitz to them. And here is the ghost of Christmas present. And then I just had this little pocket that I created here to hold this tag. And 
then um, I'm going to switch back to the front cover because I'm right at five minutes and I'm hoping that I can use this as my thumbnail <laughs> in case you're all wondering. Here is the middle section of the book and um, I used the Tim Holtz, um, I believe it's the ornate labels to do the center and then I just um, used some transparencies of the Red Cardinal and the Merry Christmas, which came from a Casey and Company, um, some, some transparencies they had uh, with, that matched with one of their new Christmas papers. And then on this page, um, this, I didn't do the illustrations on this page. It's actually from the Christmas Carol stamps from a different country. I'm not sure. Actually, I'm not sure which country. <laughs> but anyway, um, I just, I love the looks of them and they tied in really good with uh, the papers that I designed and created. And then here is the ghost of Christmas yet to come. Here's one of the tags that I attached to one of the labels and um, say it in pearls. And then I applied some actual chain just to give it kind of a more 3D real effect. Here's the last page, and again this was an illustration that I had uh, collaged, um, it's from the original Christmas Carol. But all the Christmas ghosts um, I had illustrated are designed on my own, uh, except for the ghost of Christmas yet to come. I actually got from Deviant Art, and then I manipulated it and uh, created my own um, paper where I added Scrooge in there and the chains and uh, the, the wording to create the actual um, ghost that I wanted to represent the ghost of Christmas yet to come, or the ghost of uh, the future. And then on the back, um, this is actual script from Charles Dickens when he was drafting A Christmas Carol that I used to design this paper with. And then just have the hollies with the holly berries um, framed around it. And then here is the side of the book um, where it's all stitched together using the fibers. And then I just added some trim on the edge and some tassels to complete it. And there is my mini star album of a Charles Dickens Christmas story. Christmas Carol. I keep calling it a Christmas story. And so um, in your kit, I didn't go over this, but these are um, the tags that I created um, that will come with your kit. You'll get two, two sheets of 12 by 12 and um, trying to get it all on video here. There's the tags and everything is double sided. And here's the other tags. So we received six big tags along with three, or I'm sorry, um, eight smaller tags that you can work into your project. And the tags just are inserted at the top of the book, like so. And then you can, um, on the back, you could add whatever photos, Christmas photos if you like, to, to it. And I'm right at 10 minutes, so I'll have to end it there. If you have any questions, send me an email.